I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Texas Longhorns. Yes, it's the Lone Star Showdown. These two Big 12 rivals have been waiting all week to get on the field. And here come the Longhorns. The Aggies are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. Texas has one of the better running attacks in college football and a very good running back. Lee, this will be a great opportunity here for fans to get a chance to see him run the football and lead his team to a victory. I picked my winner this morning. Here we go. Don't mess with Texas. The Longhorns are going to win. Takes it at the four. This safety's a big time player, but he's going to have to play his best game today. He faces a quarterback that can make you pay if you're not careful. I'm predicting an interception by this kid today. Ha! I like that. Kirk making a call. Let's see if he picks off one before this game is over. He's looking. He'll dump this one off. The senior makes the catch. And the pass is caught, but he goes nowhere. Yeah, nice job there by the defense to get to him and make the sure tackle before he can make any moves to break loose. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 22-yard line. Make the stop. Two yard carry by the fullback. Gain of two on the play. Third and six. Ball on their own 24. They line up in the shotgun. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Drive to Juke. And he's taken down. They look to be outmanned on that series, guys. Not even one first down. That's not what the offensive coordinator had in mind. Yeah, but I can't argue his play calling. They just didn't execute. So they're set to punt this one away. Number 35 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 16 fields it at the 30. Well, we've seen one offensive drive stall. Let's see how this offense does with their first possession. They'll start this drive at the 30-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete pass. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30. The Aggies line up with two tight ends. A little shake and bake move. And down he goes. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Third and 10. Ball on their own 30. The Aggies come out in the shotgun. He drops back. Steps up. Looks. And down he goes. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now, coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to get a screen pass at half. 
Let him get behind a rush and then take off behind his blockers for six. Seven-yard line. Ball on the 37-yard line. Texas sets up in the eye. They'll throw on first down. Someone got a hand on it. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped up and made the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. High formation here. And they make the stop. Seven yards there. The ball carrier, seven yard gain on the play. Third down Third and three, three coming up. Three. Ball on the 44. 44 yard line. Texas will line up in a jumbo set here. Drops back to pass. Looking, he's rolling right, he's going left. And it's the tight end. Missed tackle, here he goes. It's first and 10, ball on the 43. They'll throw on first down. A little juke, and he's hit hard. Second and 11. Ball on the 44. and picked up a good-looking first down. Another reason why I love the option. Just when you think he's going to pitch it, he cuts up the field and keeps the ball himself. No question, Coach. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Four wide. They'll run the option. And they got him for a loss. He got nothing on that play. The defense is really digging in now, you guys. It's second down, 15 to go. This is the seventh play of this drive. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. Here's the option left. Big opening. They'll bring him down. A nice seven yard gain on the option keeper. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Longhorn come out showing three wide. Back to pass. He's into the open field. Sheds that one. Loose football. Defense has it. It's the linebacker. So the defense comes away with a big, big turnover. Ouch. The quarterback is really going to hear it from his coach now. He should not have fumbled that football. Those bother me more than interceptions because at least on an interception, you're trying to give your receiver a chance to go after the football. There's no reason to fumble the football as a quarterback. Your job is to move the chains. That would really hurt. They'll take over at the 15. The Aggies line up 
with three wide. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. And it falls incomplete. The pressure may have forced the incompletion there. That defense was about to plant him into the ground. He's lucky he even got that ball off. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. Texas A&M comes to the line with three wide. Up the middle. He tries to spin. He jukes. Tackle. They get a good seven yards on that one. Ball carrier, seven yard gain on the play. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 22 yard line. Texas A&M comes out with two tight ends. Nice play fake. Throws this one out to the left. Incomplete. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. This one away. Number 27 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 22 takes it to 32. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 38. Texas comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He's under some heat. Fumble, loose ball. Brought down. Good hustle there by the D lineman. He saw the ball pop out and just went after it. Nice hustle. It sure was. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy who has a motor that's running. He never quit, he played to the whistle. Set up shot at the 29. The Aggies come out showing three wide. Drops back to pass. It's deflected. Almost picked off. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk. But when you're going out for a pass and a ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. They'll bring in their dime back. He drops back. Throws. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Texas A&M comes out in the shotgun. his ankle and they make the stop they'll be stopped before they reach the first down marker now that was some real hard nose defense way to bring up fourth down guys here comes the kicker he'll try to put his team up by a field goal he gets it up and it sails right on him, no good. They'll go to work at the 24. Texas sets up with four receivers. He steps up, short toss, complete, and down he goes. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. From the gun. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the left. Two, the intended receiver on the play. 
So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 36. One man backfield. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Wants to throw outside. Picked off by the linebacker. That interception will be credited to the linebacker. Way to come down with that football. That was not an easy play to make. But that's just great hands for a linebacker. He looks pretty good out there catching the football. They'll take over at the 49-yard line. Texas A&M comes out in the shotgun. Throws to the middle. It's dropped. Drop pass. That'll drive the coach crazy. That'll drive the quarterback crazy. And that'll drive the fans crazy. Well, I'm sure he'll get an earful when he gets to the sideline. You bet he will. Texas A&M sets up with four receivers. He's going left. Number eight picks it off. Boy, the defense put the pressure on and forced the bad throw. And you got that one right. Only got me on kicks. He's one of those big guys looking to knock his head off. His brain is telling him one thing. Just throw it. Well, he did leave. He did throw it, but he's got to throw it away, not to the other team. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. The Longhorns come out in a shotgun. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Second and 10. Ball on the 49. Number 10 with three wide receivers. Yuku. What a collision. The quarterback draw goes nowhere. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 49-yard line. Texas comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up. Throws this one out to the right. It falls incomplete. And that one will go down as an incompletion. It's too bad because the wide receiver made a super effort to catch that pass. Yeah, coach. He's got the ability to come up with that circus catch. I want that kid on my team. The Longhorn. Line up the punt. Number 35. Boots it way up there. Number 28. Calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 10-yard line. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 10. High formation here. And he's taken down. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Second and ten. Ball on the ten. Number one has five receivers lined up here. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He's in trouble. And he's going to be sacked. And the defensive lineman comes up with a big sack. That's a great individual effort right there. But I'll tell you what. The reason that play was successful was because they came with the blitz on that play. You're right. They sent one more guy than they had blockers for. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on their own three. Oh, 
Texas a and m We'll line up in a jumbo set here. Drops back to pass. He passes it. Couldn't haul it in. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys. They come out in a punt formation. It's off, and it is a dandy. Number 22 fields it at the 50. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Excellent field position to start the drive. Play fake over the middle, and he can't hang on to it. Dropped by the wideout. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball right around midfield. One man backfield. Back to pass. He steps up. He's under pressure. He tosses it short. Tackle. He looks to be hurt down there. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Texas in a four wide set. Drops back to pass with a quick throw. And it's caught. He's got an opening. And they make the stop. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Punt it away. Punts the ball away. Number 19 signals for a fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Number one lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Throws down the middle. Got it to his receiver. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 31. Number one lines up with five wide out. He drops back. He keeps it. Bounces off the would-be tackler. And he's taken down. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Texas A&M lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Oh, great catch. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball in the 34. Nice play fake. Looks. Wants to throw outside. And down he goes. Texas AM takes a timeout. It's 
Second down and four to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Texas A&M sets up with four receivers. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. Across the middle. That close to being intercepted. That could have easily been a turnover. Yeah, I don't even think the quarterback even saw that guy. Well, he almost saw him running the other direction with the football. Third down and four coming up on this one. And this is the sixth play of the drive. The Aggies come to the line with their jumbo package. He drops back. Across the middle. Finds a man. And he's tackled. Texas A&M calls a timeout. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. Number one comes to the line with three wide. He breaks three. Touchdown, Texas A&M. What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense. When you have a quarterback who can do things like that, Coach probably loves throwing the plays for this guy. Tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Fields it in the end zone. He's hit and got away. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll set up shot at the 25-yard line. They'll throw on first down. Looking. Throws it to the outside. Couldn't haul it in. There is no excuse for dropping a pass. Yeah, and that ball had some heat on it. I don't care. Drop passes are inexcusable. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 25. Tackle. Texas takes a timeout. First and ten. Ball on their own 35. Number seven is back in the gun. Steps up. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Brought down. Texas calls a timeout. The second down and three to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Short toss. Off his hands and incomplete. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 42. Texas will line up in a jumbo set here. He broke his ankles. Down he goes, and he gets the first down. That guy just went pow and took it in. He wasn't stopping until he got that first and 10. Huh. 
Number seven with three wide receivers. Setting up the play action. Throws. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. It's second down and 10 to go. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Six DBs in the lineup. Back to pass. Throws short. Has it to the senior. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. The Longhorn set up in the gun, drops back to pass, steps up in the pocket. He's looking for his man. Hauls it in for the touchdown. And we've got a tie ball game here, folks, and we pause for halftime. Texas got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number seven takes it at the four. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. It's first and 10, ball on the 20-yard line. Texas A&M goes with the ace set here. They'll throw on first down. He steps up, looks, throws this one out to the left. The senior makes the catch. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 25. Texas A&M lines up in a bunch formation. He drops back. He's going to take off. Takes off the tackle. And they make the stop. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. When the pressure's coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39. Texas A&M goes with the ace set here. He laterals the ball. He jukes it. Tackle. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 41. One man backfield. They'll give it off here. Brought down. The running back gets two on the carry. Gain of two on the play. Third and six. Ball on the 43-yard line. Texas A&M sets up with four receivers. 
And they'll run him again. Makes a move. And he's taken down. He appears to have been injured on the play. Boots it way up there. Number 22 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 11-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. For those of you just tuning in, it's the third quarter tie ball game, and we're still waiting for this highly praised safety to make some plays. In a tight game like this, they're going to need to come up with an interception or a fumble. And it's not like he hasn't done it before. After all, he is their impact player on defense. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. Second and 11. Ball on the 10. The Longhorn. Come out in the shotgun. Throws down the middle, and he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 10. Texas comes out in the shotgun, drops back to pass, steps up, looking, throws this one out to the left. Intercepted by the linebacker. And the defense comes up with another one. Hey, good job by that defense to get the ball back. Look to capitalize on the good field position here. Texas A&M lines up in a bunch formation. Got some open field. And now he'll lateral it. They'll bring him down. keeps possession. Yo, Kirk, is it somebody's birthday on defense? I don't know. Where are you going with this one, Kirk? Well, it's got to be somebody's birthday, because this running back is handing out presents out there. Either that, or he's doing his best to get benched. Now I got you, Kirk. Fumble. Birthday present. I got you. And they'll run him again. And he's hit hard. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. Play fake. 
He's looking. He's hit and got away. And they hit him in the backfield. up and he got it so here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Number 31 fields it in the end zone. A loose shake and bake move. Ball is loose. Fumble. Number 46 recovers a loose ball. here at the 23-yard line. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Looks. He's going to air it long. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 23. High formation here. Play action. It's on the ground. And they make the stop. Coach, what can you do to avoid those turnovers? Well, you just got to get back to the fundamentals. For the skilled players, that means hanging on to the football. yard line. Number one lines up in the shotgun. Get past the tackler. And he's taken down. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding on the offense. Ten yard penalty. So That's handling to move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. First and long, ball on the 27. Number one with four wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. And he's going to be sacked. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Separated by a field goal as the third quarter comes to a close. Second and long, ball in the 32.
Number one lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. Sheds a tackle. And he's stopped behind the line. That gives this defense five sacks on the day. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 32-yard line. Texas A&M lines up for the shotgun set. Back to pass. Looking. Rolls to the right. Throws this one out to the right. And he's all the way down to the six. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad. And that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. Pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The defense looks confident as they held them to a field goal on their last red zone trip. To the end zone! Picked off in the end zone. This defense just warms to a pass when it's thrown like that. And that's because of two things. Pressure on the quarterback and being in a zone defense. Everybody's facing the play, and if you don't throw a perfect ball, it's going the other way in a big time hurry. Oh. Oh. So they'll take over now in the shadow of their own goalposts. Comes out with an eye formation. A little with a fullback. They'll bring him down. The fullback back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. Second and ten. Ball on the four-yard line. The Longhorn come to the line with their jumbo package. A little handoff. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot at breaking clean. Third and 12 coming up on this one. They're deep in their own territory. The Longhorn with four receivers. He's looking. He gets the pass away. Batted ball. Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a beautiful play. They line up to punt this one away. They get this one off and it's a beauty. Number 16 fields at the 50. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Texas A&M comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He has some room, and they make the stop. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First and 10. Ball in the 32. Watch the linebacker. He's the star of the defense, and he's in the zone right now. Across the middle, complete, and he's taken down. Well, Coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. It's second down and six to go. Ball in the 28. The Aggies come out in a two tight end set. Down 
down in the backfield. That didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They were coming with a heavy blitz, and guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a chance. There are two minutes to go in this football game. The Aggies line up with three receivers bunched. He drops back. And they got him for a loss. Texas takes a timeout. this one away it's away and it's a booming punt number seven signals for a fair catch so the offense takes over and the last time they had the ball they had a tough time getting anything going they'll start this drive at the 20-yard line Texas lines up in a shotgun set They'll throw on first down. Gets rid of it quickly. Caught. They'll drop him for a loss. They're stopped two yards behind the line. He hustles the troops to the line. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. Tackle. About six yards on the play. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Longhorn line up with three wide. Throws this one out to the left. And it's caught. And he's tackled. Texas calls a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down with the throw. Off his hands, incomplete. Dropped by the wideout. So it's second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. And the leader of the defense at corner is in the zone right now. Complete. He has some room at the point. He's knocked out of bounds. Just a minute, folks. There's a penalty on that play. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. 15 yards from the spot of the foul. And the defense gives up some free First yards down. to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. It's first and ten. Ball on the 19. There's the play fake. And they get the sack. The blitz was the call, but the D lineman was the one who made his way to the quarterback. And he showed great quickness getting off the line into the backfield. This guy can move for a big fella. Texas comes to the line with three wide, and they make the stop. The halfback picks up a yard, and it looks like they're going to go no huddle here. Texas comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. A little juke. And he's tackled. 
Nice pickup on the play, but they're still short of the first down. And that was a good-looking play. Even though they didn't get enough yards, I'm sure we'll see that one again. Comes out to try and tie things up. He gets it up. And he got it! Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Number seven, back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number nine, fields it at the three. At the 30, at the 40, across midfield, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. They return it all the way for the touchdown. So this rivalry will have to wait another year to renew their acquaintances. Was this one any different than previous years? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down in the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over to the next time they play. The fine folks at EA Sports, thank you for tuning in to this contest of NCAA Football 2006. The final score, Texas A&M, 16 Texas 10. For Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time.